Hi everyone and welcome to Code and Action. So this is my version of a self-driving car. I got the idea of coding this little project from CodeBullet, who basically built the same thing. But since I couldn't find his code on his GitHub, I thought it might be a good exercise to learn more about coding in Python and more about deep Q learning. So now I want to give you a short overview of how it's working. So the first thing I needed was a gaming environment, which not only renders the game, but also calculates the movement uh, and calculates if there is a collision and keep track of the, the score. So I'm using Pygame for the basic rendering and stuff. And this is a quite popular library to program games in Python. So there are a lot of classes and objects in, in, in the gaming environment, but the main ones are the car, um, the ray. I will explain later how um, for what we need the rays and uh, the main game environment. Let's see. Here it is. And the gaming environment has um, a defined set of of uh, functions, which I will call using my my uh, machine learning algorithm. So the first thing is we have an initiate uh, function as normal. We have a reset. So if, for example, the car crashes into the wall, I want to reset. Then we have the step function. So we want to um, hand over a certain action and we want to the car to uh, respond accordingly. So, for example, if we move forward, then the car should move forward as well. Uh, and then we have a render function, which basically tells Pygame how it should um, draw the certain frame of the game on the screen. And then lastly, we have a close function. So this is the basic idea around the gaming environment. So after setting up the gaming environment, the next thing that we need is the so-called agent. And this is basically the machine learning AI that controls the car. So let's have a look at it. And it's uh, written in this file here. So we have the class agent and it has different functions like the act function and it basically gets a certain uh, observation data and then it acts either randomly or um, it predicts its action by um, using a neural network and the neural network here is called brain. And let's have a look at it. And here we see the um, neural network that's behind the brain. And yeah, it has different functions to be trained and to predict its next action based on its observation. And I don't want to go into a lot more details. If you are interested, uh, please uh, watch the video of Cold Bullet. Uh, he goes in a little more detail about how this algorithm works. And after setting up the agent, let's see how the agent uh, plays the game and trains inside the gaming environment. So the basic idea is um, learning by doing. So the, the agent gets to play in the gaming environment and through its observation, it um, gets better at playing the game basically. So now let's have a look what these observations are. And now we can see what the, the car is seeing basically. And it just measures the distance to uh, the blue points. And this is the only thing the car basically sees. The car also knows its own velocity. To measure the progress of the car, uh, these green goals are used. And every time the car crosses the red line, the next goal gets activated 
and so on and so forth. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and thanks for watching. And since I find it quite mesmerizing to watch the car drive by itself, let's see uh, if it can reach 1000 points. Have fun. Thank you.